So we will be looking at composite figures and uh, our, area, our focus will be area and perimeter word problems. We're going to identify composite shapes of figures and um, solve word problems that deal with those. So a composite figure shape is one that consists of more than one of the basic shapes of figures. Here you have a rectangle and you got a square here. You have a rectangle here and a triangle. So these are composite figures. So let's look at an example here. Let's just try to start working through some word problems. What is the area of the room given the shape below? So to get the area of a composite figure, we have two choices. We have, we will break up this figure into two different shapes. So let's do this right here. We're going to break this up into two rectangles. So let's look at, we call this A and we're going to call this B. So area of A is length times width and our length here is 6 and our width is 3.5. This is going to give us 21 square feet. Area of B is going to give us from this point here to the end of the rectangle here is going to give us 12 minus 3.5, 12 minus 3.5, that's going to be our length, and our width is going to be 6 minus 4. 12 minus 3.5 is 8.5 multiplied, 6 minus 4 is 2, so this is going to give us 17 square feet. So area of the figure is going to be area of A plus area of B which is 21 square feet plus 17 square feet. This is going to give us 38 square. The owner of the room below intends to replace with flooring tends to replace the flooring with square tiles. If the tiles measure 2 feet by 2 feet, how many tiles are required to completely cover the room? So to do that, since we're dealing with covering a surface, we're looking at the area. I'm going to break this up into two different shapes. I call this A and I call this B. So let's deal with A. Area of A, we have a trapezoid, so it's going to be one half base one plus base two times height. And then area of B, we have a rectangle, is length times width. So there we, let's start with B. B has length times width, so we have 9 times 6, which is 54 square feet. Okay, so for A, we have this part is 6. So what that means right here is that each of these is going to be 3 and 3. So we have to get the height of the trapezoid, so we're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. So 3 squared plus the height squared equal to 5 squared. Height squared is 5 squared minus 3 squared. So the height squared is 16. So the height is 4. So now we have Area of A, area of A is one half base one, so twelve plus six multiplied by four. 
So this is going to give us 2 multiplied by 18, which is 36 square feet. So total area is 36 square feet plus 54 square feet. This is going to be 90 square feet. Now we have tiles that measure 2 feet by 2 feet. So tile area is equal to 2 by 2, which is 4 square feet. Now number of tiles, so number of tiles is area of the room. area of room divided by area of a tile which is 90 divided by 4 which is going to give us 22.5 and then we approximate that to about 23 tiles. Final example, a garden owner needs to fence the garden similar to the garden shown below. What is the length of the fencing material needed to completely fence the garden? So we're looking at material to fence the garden. So we're looking at a perimeter. So the perimeter is the distance around. So we're going to just add up all the lengths around the garden. So this is going to be 45 right here. This is 20. This is 16. This is also 20 right here. And then we have 60, 10 plus 16, 26. So this is 34. So now we're going to add all the lengths together. So we have 60 plus 45 plus 16 plus 20 plus 34 plus 20 plus 10 plus 45 feet. So let's bring a calculator on. So we have 60 plus 45 plus 16 plus 20 plus 34 plus 20 plus 10 plus 45. So we have 250 feet. So this is going to give us 250 feet of materials will be required to completely fence this garden.